This is in 2018 in early May. Our mother fox was exploring an underground den that we have here uh, to see whether she wanted to move her babies into it. She came one afternoon, uh, about four in the afternoon, and just happened to find the den empty, uh, although a skunk had been living in this den for quite some time. And the skunk came right back as soon as mom left. We have an outdoor camera on this that we could see that there were truly two ships passing in the night by just a few seconds they missed each other. And Mama came back then again, oh, like an hour later, uh, and you uh, saw a little tail whip that the skunk did. That was Mama with bringing in a pup, Mama Fox trying to bring in a pup. And the skunk reacted to her, so the mother fox went back to where she had been. And then about three hours later, the skunk leaves for the evening at, at its usual time, about 8 p.m., and Mama Fox, I guess, knows that skunks are out, you know, out and about at night. Mama Fox comes back in and explores, makes sure that the skunk is not in there anywhere, and decides then, that, okay, the time is right, I'm going to move the babies in. And she leaves uh, here in just a minute and goes back to her other den and starts bringing in three fox pups that are about a month old. This is on May 7th of 2018. And like I say, the pups we think are about a month old. That's based totally just on how they appear. Uh, eyes are open, they're walking and getting around pretty well. Uh, we do not know exactly where they've been living. It was some place pretty close by because we had been seeing the mother fox uh, for quite a while uh, here, and actually all through the spring, but we knew she was nursing. Uh, we could tell that for about the last month that she was nursing, um, you know, just based on her belly, how it looked and, and stuff. So she stayed in there and kind of comforted the, the first pup that she's brought in, stayed in there for a few minutes and, and then oh, like 20 or 30 minutes probably, she stays in there. And then after a little bit here, she goes back to the other den that I do know where she was, uh, you know, where she had had sort of temporary quarters for a few hours with them. It was about, oh, a hundred feet away, something like that. She goes, leaves this one pup here, uh, you know, to where I guess she's given him instructions to stay put, don't go anywhere, don't do anything dangerous, and going to go off and, and get the other two pups here. So she leaves, and she's only gone for, you know, about three minutes uh, here. She goes over, uh, gets another pup, and, and comes back. And in the meantime, this one little pup is exploring. It's, of course, totally dark in there. It's nighttime. This is shot with infrared night vision. So this pup can't really see too much of what's in there, but they, you know, they, they must have some, you know, pretty good night vision themselves. Uh, but then in comes mama again with pup number two here. You know, and, and you know, the, the first one gets excited and, uh, you know, and crawls all over mama again here. Mama stays with, with the two pups here for just a short little bit, because uh, now she's got one over there in the other den that's by itself. So, uh, so she knows that she needs to go get it. And now that she's sort of settled these two down uh, here for a little bit, she can leave and, and run over and retrieve the third pup. So while mom's gone here, the two little pups will do a little bit of exploring. And you see when I'm start to climb up uh, onto a higher level there, uh, there's a back room back in there that I don't have a camera in and I've never seen inside it. It's a, I think it's a small room, maybe, I'm just guessing, you know, a foot or two long and pretty tight quarters, uh, because I don't think Mama Fox has ever gone up in there. Skunks will go up in there, and skunk babies have gone up in there, uh, but the, the fox, fox mother has not. So fox mother comes back here, and, and she's back with the three, and 
Uh, she then, she, she checks on them and then she, you see that she leaves again and this is all in a pretty compressed time frame. And she goes back over to the other den, the little temporary quarters and checks it again uh, to see whether or not she's left anybody. They truly don't seem to count that well. Uh, so she only has three here, but she seems to think, well, maybe I've forgotten somebody and I just want to be sure. And they'll go back in to their, to their prior den, you know, two or three times or more and check on things and just check and make sure they hadn't left anybody there. Here, I guess that's what they're checking for anyway. Uh, but they'll do that. They'll revisit the, the prior den uh, several times to kind of be sure here. And so these three guys are, are just, again, sort of exploring around and uh, see what they can see, you know, and they seem comforted by having each other there. And then after a little while here, Mama comes back uh, and, and settles down with them to nurse.